You do this for the money, I do this for my family I got an ocean view, my windows panoramic Can't get too close to you, one day I'll have to choose I had to make a move, in my head I played it throw You do this for the money, I do this for my family I got an ocean view, my windows panoramic Can't get too close to you, one day I'll have to choose I had to make a move, in my head I played it throw Can't get too comfortable, cause they gon' switch up They nice was on the road, homie he gon' Hey YouTube, what's happening? <laughs> this your boy K Smooth. This your boy K Smooth. I just decided to do a a video on on some of the modifications that I did on my uh, 2017 Can-Am Spider RT Limited. Since I never did a modification video on it I decided to do it today today is a beautiful day man the temperature is right at 72 degrees and it is still February 2022 and to say February at 72 degrees lots of sunshine blue skies beautiful day your boy decided to get out and do something so this is about my Can-Am Spider RT Limited and me. Modifications and me. I got a little bit more to go with when I get through with the modification uh, aspect of it. I got a little bit more to go and I'm gonna let you guys in on it as soon as I finish that. So without further ado, like they say, <laughs> without further ado, I'm gonna show you my bike and some of the modifications that I did on it. Hope I don't miss any, because I didn't I didn't really uh, write anything down. And there's gonna be some things I might not know exactly where I got them from, but I got them. So, hey, it is what it is, like they say. So, I'm gonna show you guys. First off, I'm gonna start from the front. I'm gonna start from the front of the bike and work my way to the back. As you know, these these spiders, they uh, they like a vacuum cleaner almost. They'll suck up these leaves and stuff. But we're not gonna worry about that. Everything is all good. So first off, I know you can see first off, I got these uh, these lights going around here. I put those lights on there. I have the lights there. I have them there and there. I have uh, some lights in my grill right here some right here and some up under here also lights I have uh, this light going around here so that's the lights now on my um, 2017 spider most of you guys that have one know that these lights right here come LEDs and these lights right here come in LEDs. But the uh, fog lights and the headlights, they don't. So I, I, change, I changed mine out already. So I got everything white looking and it's, it looks good on there. So that's one mod, that's two mods. Next, I have these, uh, the emblems. I ordered those emblems off of Amazon, the spider emblems. I took that one, the old one off, the BRP, and put that one on. It comes with six in a pack. Can't remember exactly how much I paid for them, but you have that one right there. You have two for your tires right there. They give you one for this right here, emblem right there, and my the other one is up under here. I have to take my phone off for you to see it. And then they give you one for the back. It look pretty good on there. So let's go back to the front. Let's go back to the front. <laughs> Next, I have this polyurethane, these polyurethane strips. Of course, you can see here, 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 here. And here they come 
they come pretty much I think with like two in a pack and what I what I what I mean by two in a pack I mean I think I got like like this one here and this one here were one order then you may order this piece together along with this piece together for another order then you order these two pieces along with these two pieces I think and these two pieces so they they come separate um, and they they look they enhance the bike pretty good they enhance it pretty good I, I kind of I, I saw where they had some that was running across like that and they look really good on a, on a bike but I didn't want all that so I think what I have looks pretty good what you think <laughs> so next my next modification is I put these pinstripes on here of course you can see these pinstripes I put these pinstripes on got some right there right there I have the pinstripe running here and this one here and I wired it out I also put pinstripe here put a pinstripe here and a pinstripe here so and I, I think they look real nice on there at least I think so <laughs> don't know what you think but I think so next modification uh, I'm gonna show you guys of course I put the spider mirrors on the on the mirrors they are a necessity you kind of gotta have spider mirrors unless you get the uh, they have a a full mirror that you put on there and it'll cover the whole mirror and it'll give you that that spotter mirror effect like but I just put the spotter mirrors on there because that's what I wanted that's what I wanted next I have my uh, my wind deflectors I put a tent right there on my wind deflectors I tinted it out I started to do these right here, but I never did. I don't know if you guys remember from my uh, some of my first videos. I had my windshield tinted across here, and it it really looked nice, but it was kind of obstructing my uh, my my vlogs a little bit. And at night, it kind of you know got in the way a little bit. So I kind of just I not kind of, but I took it out, and I, I think it gives it a more cleaner look okay my next modification I don't know what you call these things I just saw them on on uh, online and I ordered them I call them little tattoos I like that I put that on there I put that one on there I put these little splashes like raindrops when the wind blows blowing running up the the bike I thought they looked nice that right there this right here this one and the spider so I kind of fell in love with them and I think they really look nice on the bike next modification I know you can see the, those red stripes I started in the back really where I put the uh, that's just red reflective tape put that on there in the back to more be more visible at night after I did the back I said well I might as well just go ahead and enhance the bike with red I ran it down through there you can see that I ran it down through there you can see I ran it around my trunk I ran it right through there everywhere there's cracks at I just ran that that red uh, reflective tape and it it really lights the bike up at night when the light hits it really looks nice next enhancement 
these uh, highway pigs. Those are some nice highway pigs. <laughs> those are some expensive highway pigs. I got those from uh, La Monster's Garage. La Monster's Garage. They, uh, they really enhance the bike also. And the reason I went with uh, the red reflective tape is because my son had this red, these red, I don't even know what this is. It's just, he had enough for me to go around my dash and run down here on both sides. It was just enough. It was perfect to fit that area. So it enhanced my dash and enhanced the uh, the cockpit of the of the bike. So until I said, well, since I got since I have the uh, red outliner on the dashboard and in my cockpit, then I might as well enhance. And I had the red dot on here. I might as well go red and enhance with these uh, red reflector tapes. Also, I know you can see my Airhawk seats. They lined out in red. So that was a another reason that I'm going red to keep from having so many different colors. Now I could have went with a black. I could have went with black, but since I had the red to do the back, and I had enough tape left over, then I just went on and decided to go ahead and do the whole bike in red. My next enhancement, this right here, this is just a cup, cup holder. Now sometimes, and this right here is a strap for my uh, my camera that shoots back at me. Sometimes I, put, I mount my camera right here on this cup holder. That's why I have the cup turned kind of sideways like, so I might, Put the camera up just a just an inch higher at a different angle and just show the uh area that i'm area that i'm uh the area that i'm i'm uh videoing my next enhancement a modification was this seat backrest now these are not an order they're just how I'm random, randomly running across them well this backrest that's a Can-Am Spider backrest and it does wonders okay the next item that we'll talk about is this right here the cell phone mount cup holder and that's from La Monster's Garage. That's a uh, modification, kind of like a must have. Kind of like a must have. I very seldom use this cup holder. You can you can uh, op open this up and, and put a larger cup in there or whatever, but I hardly ever use it. I mostly just use my uh, my phone holder. My next modification is the throttle assist. Of course, you know the 2017 Can-Am RT Limited comes with the uh, cruise control already. And it, it wasn't for the, to be able to have a cruise control, the reason I put this, uh, this thing on here, but it was just to kind of, when I don't want to use my cruise or if I'm riding with a group, and I can't really put my cruise on, it'll kind of give me some uh, ability to just relax my hand a little bit. My next modification, you see right here, this is a recording device. So when I record with my camera, I can use this device to turn my camera off and on. Okay, let's see what else I did. Oh, I showed you guys the, uh, the spider emblems, but I have this, these caps. Can you see them? Those caps. I got those and no one really 
I never even know they're on there unless they really look close. And I like them. So my next enhancement would be this. That is the run brake signal light. I put that in. You know, these bikes don't come with this in here. Uh, these are my signals and this is a run light when my bike is turned on and it's also a brake light. This right here is a run light just to give, give me more light to be more visible. Next enhancement would be my uh, trim around my tag. I like the bob wire trim. It kind of makes the bike look tough. <laughs> uh, my next enhancement was this mud flap. I put that mud flap on because you know you guys that, ha that own a spider or own bikes when it rains and if that flap is not down far enough when that tire turns it throws that water and stuff back up on the on the on the driver so put that mud flap on there then I put the I ordered the United States Army emblem to put on there because you guys you know I'm a veteran I did 25 years in the military retired so I got to represent my next enhancement these flag flag holder mounts I got the United States flag and I have my US veteran flag that's uh, Desert Storm I was I was in combat in Desert Storm so I'm representing Desert Storm veterans uh, my next enhancement I'm trying to think if there be any more oh I have the uh, you won't be able to see that but I have the K&N air filter that I put on the bike. That, that air filter, when I put it on there, I could tell the difference of how the bike sounded and how it ran immediately. It just ran and sounded a whole lot better than the original uh, air filter that came on there. Plus, all I got to do is clean it and place it back on there. I don't have to keep buying air filters over and over and over. And it's really no problem to clean it. Now, on my bike, a lot of people are changing out their, their shocks. I'm not changing. I didn't change. They're, they're changing the shocks out, the uh, armrests, I mean the uh, arms, A-arms. And they changing all of that stuff out. My bike is is a 2017 model, five years old. I got over 26,000 miles on it. I've been in different states. I've been on even pavement, uneven pavement, rough pavement. Everything's run fine. So I, I have no no reason or no need to change it change it out also put this uh little bumper guard on there just to enhance the bike a little bit uh as far as the uh the sway bars the shocks and the belt tensioner my my bike does get a little friction from the belt at around 75 and when I get up to 77 78 or whatever the tension it goes away so I did not put a belt tensioner on there I didn't see the, the, the need and it's not that bad so it only gets up to that belt doing that around 75 something like that miles per hour so I don't too much run 75 miles per hour and when I do all I gotta do is run over 75, go up to 76, 77, and it goes away. Uh, my next enhancement is, I think that might be it. I think that might be it. This is just an overall view of my bike. And 
I think she looks good. I think she looks beautiful. Everything else pretty much came standard with it. I don't think I'm missing anything. I don't think I'm missing anything. Give you a top view of it. A top overview of it. Quick walk around. Also, I want to say these tires, these are the original tires that came on my, my bike. This is a 2017 model, and you can see those tires are still in good shape. They're still in good shape. The front tires are the original tires. I've changed the back tire out once. I changed it out once. I have over 26,000 miles on it. My tires will front tires will last me through this coming riding season I don't know about the next but that's five years of those tires being on that bike um, I bought the bike in January of 2018 it was a leftover from 2017 brand new I bought it brand new with no miles on it so since 18 up until 22 i put over 26,000 miles on it still have the same original tires on it and still have the same original battery let me see my phone is ringing okay youtube i'm back <laughs> i had to answer that phone call uh i forgot about my little uh i don't know what you call these things my little chrome accent pieces on my handlebars. I also bought those. They look nice on there. Uh, everything else pretty much is the same. Just it came with the bike. So this is uh this is the Dominator. This is the Dominator. As you can see, she's a beauty. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Yeah. Baby, yeah. I took a half and she took the whole thing, slow down. Yeah. 